A coroner is pushing for changes to the way police chase drivers after he found the death of a 21-year-old motorcyclist in Cogra was avoidable. Their recommendations experts hope will save lives. It was the tragic death of a 21-year-old motorbike rider that triggered the most comprehensive coronial inquiry into high-speed police pursuits ever in the state. It was here on the Princess Highway at Cogra where Hamish Raj collided head-on with the car after clipping this medium strip. He was being chased by police and travelling at speeds of 150 kilometres an hour. That's 90 kilometres over the speed limit. We are well aware of the risks. This is an absolute tragedy. The TAFE student's avoidable death has resulted in 17 proposed changes to how police respond on the state's roads. Deputy State Coroner Hugh Dillon's recommendations include a two-minute limit in pursuits for built-up areas and they should only be launched if a serious offence is suspected. The great majority of those dangerous high-speed pursuits are in relation to minor traffic infringements. Yet the government seems to have no appetite for reform. In 2013, there were four police pursuits every day in New South Wales, with four fatalities. The risk posed to the innocent public by pursuit in built-up areas is through the roof. So we absolutely need to make sure that pursuits only take place off the back of serious criminal offences. New South Wales police refused to be interviewed for the story. In a statement, they said the coroner's recommendations have been directed to the New South Wales Police Minister and they will be considered at the appropriate time. The minister in question, Michael Gallagher, was also unavailable for comment. David Eccleston, 7 News.